It really doesn't get much easier than this. Hit it with some salt and essential in almost every meal I cook throughout the day. Set it and forget it. This is actually gonna cut your cook time way down. That is perfect, look at that. Match made in heaven, quick, easy, and delicious. What's going on guys? Michael Chernow here, founder of Seymour's, co-founder of The Meatball Shop in New York, and you are watching Essentials with Michael Chernow. I'm super excited to be able to partner up with Neo Yu to walk you guys through some of my favorite recipes on simple ingredients and simple eating in the world of wellness. Today we're gonna focus on two of my favorite vegetables, broccoli and cauliflower. Very simple, very easy to prepare. I'm gonna walk you through step by step to make some awesome roasted cauliflower, roasted broccoli that you can add to any dish. Take your knife. You got your broccoli. I cut the stem off. And the way I like to do my broccoli is I like to leave my broccoli stems pretty long. These are gonna be substantial pieces of broccoli that I have as a side or I add to a dish that I'm gonna be cooking. All right. And that is how I like to cut my broccoli for roasting. I take them and I put them in a roasting tray. Cauliflower. So sometimes people are curious as to how to cut into a big head of cauliflower. I'm gonna show you. You literally cut right down the center, just like that. Now cauliflower has this big stem right here, okay? The way you get through this is you just cut the stem out. And there, the stem goes. And now, you can almost just break the little florets with your hands. And there you have your cauliflower florets. And I take these and I put these in my roasting tray as well. And I like to put them on different sides of the roasting tray, just so in case the broccoli cooks faster than the cauliflower, the cauliflower cooks faster than the broccoli, I have complete control if I want to pull something out first. But I have no problem roasting them together because most of the time they're just gonna cook at the same pace and I'm using the exact same ingredients, olive oil and salt. The only two ingredients I like to cook with because they just work. And if it's not broken, there's no need to fix it. Now that my broccoli, my cauliflower is in my baking tray, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with some olive oil and salt. And again, remember, I season from up here. And the reason why I season from about a foot to a foot and a half above whatever I'm trying to season is so that the seasoning evenly distributes. It's not for show, it's not for looks, it's not because I wanna make you think I'm chef extraordinaire. It literally serves a purpose. Now that I've got my broccoli and my cauliflower cut into the pieces that I like to cook with, got my oven preheated at 375, and I'm gonna go in for about 15, 20 minutes, check on this stuff, see where it's at, probably move it around a little bit, flip it over, and then maybe another 15 minutes. So all in about 30 minutes in the oven, okay? And there you have it. See you in a few minutes. Wow. We are done here. And as you can see, the color is fantastic. Look at the color on that. So we're looking for this nice, beautiful charred broccoli, charred cauliflower. Uh, what that charring does is actually, it's, it's the caramelization of the produce. What that does is that brings out the sugar in the produce and it just makes what could be bland, raw cauliflower into one of the most delicious things you've ever had. I use it in salads. Sometimes I'll chop it up and I'll use it in an omelet in the morning for dinner. Uh, it's just a great side because they're just so delicious and so healthy. As you saw, it really doesn't get much easier than this. Literally, all we did was cut up the broccoli, cut up the cauliflower, put it into a baking tray, add a little olive oil and salt. We moved it around a little bit 
Came back in another 15 minutes and it was done. And you can make this in bulk and you can let it cool down, put it into Tupperware, throw it into your fridge and use it throughout the week. If you want, you can reheat it in the oven. However you want to use it. You can use it cold, you can use it room temperature. Such a versatile ingredient. Both broccoli, cauliflower are the bomb. So thanks for tuning in to Essentials with Michael Chernow. Until the next one.